Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Fold, the new foldable smartphone by Samsung. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why you're not going to buy this product. As a matter of fact, why a lot of people are not going to buy this product. But before I actually give you the reasons for that, uh, I do want you to understand what this product is. Uh, first and foremost, it is an amazing tech product, okay? Uh, at heart, it is a smartphone slash tablet hybrid. So when the phone is folded, it is a smartphone. When it is unfolded, it is in fact a tablet. And as you know, when the phone is folded on the front, it's got a super AMOLED display that is going to be 4.6 inches. And when you unfold the smartphone, you still get a super AMOLED display, but it's going to be 7.3 inches when it is unfolded. Now, there's two things that really stood out to me about the Samsung Galaxy Fold that were software related. Number one was the app continuity. So basically, if you launch an application when the phone is folded and when you unfold the phone, that application that is going to be on the small screen seamlessly transitions into the large screen. OK, so you don't have to go and relaunch it. It just transfers over to the larger screen as you unfold the device and that is known as the app continuity which is something i really really liked and of course the other software feature was the three app multitasking so you can have three windows uh on this on the on the larger display side by side and multitask on three different applications which is also very productive could be very useful especially if you're immersed into your product so those were two great features. Now, in case you're wondering uh, about the specs of the smartphone uh, or smartphone slash tablet, uh, it does have a Snapdragon 855 processor. It has 512 gigabytes of internal storage. It does not have micro SD expansion slot. OK, so all you're going to be getting is the 512 gigabytes of storage. And then finally, you've got 12 gigabytes of RAM. So it is quite a powerful and able uh, product. Now, the fact that it doesn't have a micro SD expansion slot is kind of a bummer, but it's not a big deal because 512 gigs is plenty enough. And of course, one more thing you're not going to find in this product is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack does not have that either. OK, and of course, the battery is 4,380 milliamp hours. Uh, which is going to be plenty to power it for a full day of use, but don't expect anything beyond that, especially considering it's got two uh, screens, all right? And when you uh, do things on the larger screen, it's going to eat up that battery even faster. And I'm slowly coming to the point of why you're not going to buy the smartphone, why a lot of people are not going to uh, uh, buy the smartphone. But I just want to make sure that you understand what the product is. So one more thing that I do want to talk about is the cameras. So the Samsung Galaxy Fold has six total cameras on its chassis. It's got triple rear cameras, and these rear cameras are the same as the one on the S10 and the S10 Plus. You've got a regular wide angle, telephoto camera, and a super wide angle, okay? And then on the front of the display, when the phone is folded, you have one selfie camera, and then when you unfold the smartphone, on the top right, you're going to get two uh, cameras, okay? So that makes a total of six cameras on this product. All right, so why are people not going to buy it? Why I think you're not going to buy it? So it is clear that as a total package, it is an amazing product, but it's got two massive problems that is going to make it impossible for most people to buy it. Number one is the obvious thing. You probably guessed it already. Uh, it's the price. The Samsung Galaxy Fold starts at $1,980. For that price, you can get an iPad. For that price, you can get a laptop. You can get a high-end laptop. You can even get a gaming laptop for that kind of price. Or you can get four smartphones. You can get four OnePlus 6s or OnePlus 6Ts or the next OnePlus smartphone that's coming out. Or you can even get uh, two Samsung Galaxy S10s. So that price tag is quite high. And I think only people that have a lot of money and also people that are actually interested in tech are going to actually buy this product. And that's not going to be a lot of people. Uh, Samsung wasn't trying to be sly. Uh, they openly said that this is a luxury product. OK, so this is not a mainstream product. It is not aimed at mainstream audiences. So that's reason number one, extremely high price. Reason number two, 
Uh, even if you do have money, and even if you do have interest in tech, you might skip this product because you know as a tech enthusiast, as a tech follower, that this is a first generation product. So it is far from perfect. Now, the phone looks amazing. It's got some amazing features, uh, packed with power, but unfortunately, it is not as uh, good as it could be. Now, the one thing that does get on my nerves with the Samsung Galaxy Fold is when you unfold the device, the way the cameras are positioned on the top right in a little side notch, all right? So that's the next reason some of the really critical tech enthusiasts that do have money are not gonna buy this. But I just wanna make it very clear uh, that Samsung is fully aware of this, okay? They're not releasing this out as a mainstream product. That is almost obvious. I'm a little bit curious about one thing though, and that's about you guys. Uh, if you did have the money, and if you did have interest in th uh, tech, which I'm sure you do because you're watching this channel, uh, would you go out and buy the Samsung Galaxy Fold for $2,000? Or would you actually wait for maybe the next generation? And for now, uh, if you did have the money, maybe you'll go out and you'll buy a laptop, okay? Maybe you'll buy a gaming laptop, maybe you'll buy a MacBook Air or whatever. Like I said, the price is so high, it's really hard for me to see an average guy going out there and buying the smartphone, even if they have the money. So let me know down in the comments below what you would do and why. And of course, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more coverage. And if you do use Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. For now, have a fantastic day.